this video is about uh, Lincoln Impinger oven 1400 um, what happened was uh, oven stopped working basically the motor that blows the motor the blows the air into the chamber stopped blowing it sometimes it blows other times it didn't blow so for that reason I had to take it apart Okay, so for that reason I had to take it apart well of course first you unplug the power before you open anything there is a cover at the back that has a small screws is three on this side four on the top some on that side and some at the bottom so this cover comes off it gives you access to the motor so the motor is right here in the middle and in my case there was a, just a capacitor gone on the motor so when I took it out the motor and I spin with my hand then it starts working so you gotta take the motor out well for mo to take the motor out you have to actually go inside and take there's another plate I don't know I, you can see one screw right here the bolt right here there's those kind of bolts all over across on the both sides and then the top and bottom too so that whole thing comes out after unplugging the connection of motor inside here sorry I already finished the job before I start making the video I should have done it earlier so uh, I took that out and then put it motor took the motor out too and put it on the side plugged in and then when I spin it with a hand it would work so basically the capacitor is a not a running capacitor this motor has um, the capacitor for start capacitor that's why when it starts it needs extra energy to start that was gone so I changed the capacitor it costed me only 18 Canadian dollars to change it put it in and then get going again so only problem was that the, the belt will run the this one was running fine but the fan inside who blows the hot air sometimes the motor will run other times it will not run because the capacitor wasn't giving or helping it to get the power so that was an easy fix for me only eighteen dollars and here is the capacitor that wasn't working so I had to take this put it in and it's working you can see the temperature is going up So basically this capacitor needed a change for $12, uh, no I mean 18 Canadian dollars it costed me. Um, easy fix, took about half an hour total to do it. Again so you go at the back, take all the screws out, take the cover off and then there is access to motor and the capacitor. So again because the motor sometimes would not start because it needs this is not a run capacitor this is a start capacitor it needs a help to start to to run the motor so it was a minor fix thanks good day guys